Hey everybody. So today I want to show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Now you know, I love low budget, simple meals that does not cost me an arm and a leg, but also healthy at the same time. Uh, so if you've been following me or you watch some of my, my videos and stuff, you know that I like simple. Simple is my best friend. So anywho, I took the liberty the other night of uh, baking some sweet potatoes in the oven and they came out very good. The skin was very crispy, but after I ate that one um, sweet potato, I was pretty much full because I had made some homemade uh, chicken soup out of um, uh, a rotisserie chicken that we had ate and there was still some meat on there. So I just kind of, you know, boiled it, added some celery, zucchini, um, onions and uh, okra and I've been eating on that all week so I had that with a sweet potato which was sort of like a dessert for me that sweet potato is sort of like for me I don't know maybe it's weird it's like a, a it's like it curves or it, it you know feeds my little sweet tooth so I decided I was going to do that now the other two are still left and um, yesterday I bought some brisket so I'm going to show you guys in a minute how it turned out i it was now the only thing that was expensive was that brisket it was 18 dollars for a four pound trimmed and uh flat cut brisket from heb it was about 18 dollars wasn't cheap now that's the only thing but guess what it's gonna last us a little bit it's gonna last us a couple days because then i won't have to cook so um and on top of that i can pair it with um food that I already have so let me quit talking and let me show you guys how that brisket turned out and you know I love my crock pot so I did put that brisket in my crock pot and I want to show you all how it turned out and I'm getting ready to show you right now so look how well it came out it is cooked all the way through it is just and I've already you can tell on the top <laughs> I got me a couple of pieces my husband was like, who did this? <laughs> I was like, not I. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so this is what it came out to look like. It's delicious. Um, it's seasoned very well because, you know, I love my meat to be very seasoned. It is very delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this and see how that meat looks on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Got my knife here, fork, so I don't lose my grip. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah. That bark looks so nice. Well, I don't know if you can, can you even call it a bark? Since I uh, cooked it in a crock pot, not on a barbecue pit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to slice up a couple pieces of this brisket. And then I'm going to show you guys what that looks like afterwards. Okay, my dears, so this is how the brisket looks once uh, it's cut. It sort of looks like a brisk, I mean, not brisk, uh, brisket, it is brisket, but it sort of looks like roast when it's cooked in a crock pot. But when it's, you know, barbecued on the pit, it looks different when you cut it. So, sort of like roast, but you definitely know that it's brisket. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... I have my sweet potato here. I just warmed it up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it. And down the middle so I can add my butter. So for my butter, I have plant butter by Country Crock. It is very good. You wouldn't know the difference. It's just that it's not dairy. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle. And you can see, ow, woo. That steam coming up I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of butter in here yummy yummy okay so while that's melting you can add cinnamon I added cinnamon on the outside of my skin and I also added a little bit of um, pink salt Himalayan salt I'm gonna let that sit and let it kind of get in there in that sweet potato move this to the side i'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull apart my brisket with some forks okay just like this 
<laughs> I always wanted a southern uh, tone, a southern uh, accent. Has anybody else ever wanted a southern accent? Okay, y'all, we're going to pull a brisket apart like this. <laughs> okay, so so you're going to put it pull it apart like that. And once you get it pulled apart, you're going to add it to your, your sweet potato, okay? Now, um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do or what I like to do once I'm done doing this part. Okay, y'all, so it is officially pulled apart. My brisket is pulled apart. I got some barbecue sauce here. Now, I had some sugar-free barbecue sauce, but we ate it all. So this is the only thing I had left. So I did look at the back and see this is a uh, craft. I was trying to make sure it didn't have any milk in it because I know some of it has milk in it. So it doesn't look like there's anything too, too bad. The only thing I don't like is it has high fructose corn syrup. And you want to try to stay away from corn syrup because it's not good for you. Okay, well, too bad. It's the only thing I got. I'm a big believer in using what you have. So I'm going to add just a little bit, not a lot. That's it. That's all I need. I don't need, I really don't even need all of that. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it's my stomach talking all right so i'm gonna put that over there and now i'm gonna take my forks and kind of mix it into the meat just like that Woo! don't they look delicious y'all okay My husband said it's amazing. He said it's so good. So I'm happy with that. There you go. All right. So now, now we are done. We're going to go ahead and bring my um, sweet potato over here. And I'm going to add some of that brisket on there. You can also add sour cream if you can have dairy. You can add uh, non-dairy sour cream. You can add green onions. Uh, you can add, um, let me see, I'm trying to think. Onions, well, I said green onions. Uh, what else can you add? I can't even think right now. Whatever you want to add, you can add to this. I'm just going to add meat. And I already added my plant butter. And there we go. Just kind of put it on there like a like a regular regular potato, barbecue potato. And that's it. You can add some more barbecue sauce if you like. But I'm just going to keep it as is. And that is it. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? Okay, maybe just a little bit of barbecue sauce. <laughs> just a little bit. Just, just, just a little tad bit. There we go. Okay. And that is it, you guys. That's it. Here you go. A sweet potato barbecue. A brisket sweet potato. Yummy. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I'm getting ready to dig in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As I always say, there's always another option. Always a less high carb option. It's just that you have to get creative and you have to look up things get on that google look up some stuff i was craving a barbecue potato uh so i thought i would just take a regular sweet potato and i've tried this before in the past i've i've, I've tried it and it was delicious so this is my second time only only thing with this one is that um i actually bought my own brisket and cooked it versus the last time i bought store-bought brisket which we know wasn't really healthy um and the store-bought brisket actually looked a little weird, but this one, you know, I cooked it myself, so I don't have to feel guilty because I know what I put on it, and, uh, you know, it's good. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope that you guys will give this a try, um, and uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share, please. Subscribe if you want to keep up with my videos and if you are interested in learning more about finding low-budget creative ways of being healthy Go ahead and hit 